Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I am doing a thing I find really hard, but a thing that people seem to like, at least based on the views these uh, videos are getting. Uh, today we are doing a visual note-taking app tier list. And this is hard enough in itself, but I have chosen to include Obsidian, Craft, and Logsec as well, even though these aren't necessarily like visual note-taking apps. I would rather say that they are applications with a visual element to them. In most cases, whiteboards. Actually, in all of these cases, some sort of whiteboarding experience. But I included them in my, like, um, in my um, visual note-taking app guide, both the video and uh, the medium article so i think that it deserves to be here as well or i find it natural to include them here as well and let's actually start off with melanote which is a really visual application uh, and probably one of the best one i think this is s tier when it comes to like images project management and uh, people who work in creative fields, uh, I feel like there isn't an application that is any better than Milnote. I feel like Milnote has everything you need. I love the fact that you can upload Adobe Creative Cloud files into there. I love the fact that it is visual. There are still some like minor adjustments I would like to see for this to be absolutely perfect, like better search, for example. I don't like to search inside of air, but it has uh, abilities to organize, uh, so you will be able to find the things you are looking for even uh, with not the best search. Uh, but Milnote is probably the gold standard when it comes to visual note-taking apps, especially for uh, capturing images and different file types it also allows you to have documents inside of here so uh, there are a lot of opportunities with this application and i feel like it definitely deserves the s tier as i said i feel like this is the gold standard next up let's do obsidian and obsidian is a hard one because uh, when it comes to just note taking and being a note taking app obsidian is probably the best one when it comes to the visual aspect, I feel like it falls down a little bit, and that's what I am trying to uh, use for uh, the tier list, is the visual aspect. And I feel like the canvas experience isn't too bad, but uh, like yesterday, I had to watch a YouTube video uh, to check out and see all of the different capabilities uh, that Obsidian whiteboards actually have. And I feel like whiteboards shouldn't be a thing with a learning curve even inside of Obsidian. I also feel like there are still a few things lacking in uh, uh, Obsidian whiteboards. So I'm actually going to place this in C tier. I would say that it is okay. It isn't good. It isn't really good. And it isn't uh, gold tier. Uh, so uh, I think uh, C tier is probably the best one for Obsidian. Uh, let's do Craft. Craft has um, whiteboards as well, but these are uh, still in uh, beta and they are under development uh, and they lack a lot of features. One of the main ones being the ability to add your different notes uh, from Craft into the whiteboard uh, to use notes you already have and also like use backlinking abilities inside of the whiteboard as well. I feel like there still uh, needs to, there is still some development that needs to be done, uh, mainly like the uh, ability to add uh, your notes into there. Uh, but apart from that, it is a good start. Uh, it doesn't seem like it will have the same learning curve as Obsidian, uh, but I feel like it is sort of at the same level uh, right now. But uh, I'm also really like uh, thinking really about how much time Craft is going to spend actually developing this, given the fact that they are turning into an object-based note-taking app. And uh, that might mean that this doesn't get developed as much. Next up, we will do Heptabase. And where I said that, 
Miller Note was like gold standard for uh, visual note taking when it comes to images and files. Heptabase is the same just for text. I love like card structure, I love the whiteboards, I love the fact that you can turn cards into databases using tags or super tags. Uh, and just in general, I feel like every time they do something with this application, every time they add something new, I feel like they always seem to add the right thing. Uh, it also has a PDF reader and just for research uh, and um, mainly for research, but also other purposes, this is an amazing application. Uh, I used it for a while. I think it is really good and I feel like this is the gold standard when it comes to like visual note taking. Works great if you want to create yourself a Zettel custom system as well. Next up we have Squintle and Squintle is really similar to Heptabase but I would say that it isn't at the same level. It doesn't have all of the features that um, Heptabase does have so I am going to place it in uh, a tier. It is also still uh, in uh, early access so you can uh, purchase like yeah you can purchase the uh, paid plans and get access to it right away but uh, apart from that there isn't actually a real way to get access to this application so still in an early access stage uh, and it also doesn't have a mobile application yet so i am placing it in a tier Logsec, I feel like Logsec out of these three applications here that are not fully visual, I feel like Logsec is the best one, so I'm going to place it in B tier. The uh, whiteboards feel uh, a little more intuitive than Obsidian's uh, whiteboards. Uh, I like the way it looks and just feel like it is a little better than, um, than Obsidian's uh, whiteboards. Next up we will do Affine or Affine, still haven't figured out how to pronounce that. This is a great application and probably the best idea uh, I've seen out of any note taking app because this works in a way that allows you to uh, use both whiteboards and pages and uh, they will work seamlessly together. So if I change something in my whiteboard it will also change in my um page uh, which is great for writing and outlining uh, but it is still in beta it still has a lot of bugs so i will place it in c tier for now but this can easily become uh, a or s tier uh, but i have experienced a few bugs with this so that's why it is ending up here next we are going to napkin notes this isn't an application i've used extensively I have played around with it. I think that it is really good. I think the AI inside of it is, it is really good. And as AI develops, I feel like this application will continue to develop. We still uh, do not have a fully functional mobile application. We have a stripped down iOS application and the web version, which I've been testing out, works quite well. Uh, so still really early days, but uh, after been after I've been testing the application a few times, I feel like this is probably a tier right now with the ability to quite quickly become S tier. But it is a little different from the other ones because this feels like more of an idea capture application rather than um, rather than a fully fledged note taking app. Actually, I will put this in B tier right now. Uh, but it has the ability to become A tier uh, and even S tier in the long run. Then we have My Mind, and I feel like My Mind is probably at the same level as Scrintle. I have heard about people experiencing bugs and issues with the application. I haven't been experiencing too much, but uh, I am also uh, biased towards it because this is the application I use uh, and I think that it is really good but there are of course a couple of issues like major one uh, major one being the fact that you can't export in markdown you have to export in csv uh, so they have an export but it isn't the best way to export uh, something out of a note taking app that is like a major one and there are a couple smaller ones as well 
but based on my experience with this application i feel like this is a tear walling is a great idea and i really like the application i feel like this is the only like real competitor to something like melanote but it isn't at the level of melanote i feel like the whole visual aspect and the idea is really good it might feel a little different if you have gone from like using these applications with cards because uh walling uses what they call walls and bricks but it functions a little bit differently and feels a little bit differently uh, than uh, using these application with cards uh, that's like one of the things that people find uh, a little hard the second thing is that the development uh, has been poor for the last a couple of months and even years uh, at least for last year uh, and the last six months we have seen like one or two updates uh, and they have recently switched ceos which means that there is new leadership so hopefully the application will become better uh, and i am an optimist so i will actually give this b tier because i feel like the application is really good uh, but the problem I've had is the lack of development and the lack of like bug fixes, which I am uh, choosing to believe will become better. One thing to keep in mind here, though, is that uh, applications like Obsidian, Craft, and LogSec, uh, since they are um, they are mainly note taking apps with a visual element, they will struggle to get to the level of things like Melanote and Heptabase, which are only there to be visual note-taking apps that's like the main idea of the application and that's what all the development goes into so it is really hard for these other applications that aren't fully visual to get to the level of many of the other ones uh, i feel like this is an okay tier list uh, i could probably change these two uh, but i am choosing to go for it like this because i am choosing to be really optimistic about walling uh, i love the application and the way it looks i also love the fact that they have ocr but these are of course based on my personal opinions and this video is for mostly for entertainment and not necessarily for you to pick an application based on this video if you want something more like that and you want to do research on different applications i have a bunch of videos on my channel as usual thank you so so much for watching if you have any questions or anything you want to discuss please do comment it down below and i hope to see you again quite soon